Good afternoon and welcome to the first day of Unbiased Sewing Camp for Kids. Today we have one person who has um, enrolled in the class. What's your name, sir? Ashton. And what is the reason for you being here today? Uh, so I can learn how to sew my own clothes. You want to learn how to sew your own clothes? Yes, ma'am. Okay. How old are you? Ten. Ten. Ten years old. So everybody, welcome in Ashton. And um, so this is our guide that we that we will follow. It's a packet. And today we will be doing a crossword puzzle. And this is just to get the kids familiarized with the sewing terminology words that they need to use when they become a sewist. So this will be our first activity today. And it's just a regular crossword puzzle and the names of some of the terminologies that we use in sewing. I'll go down the list just in case anybody would like to know. Um, so we have a pen, we have a iron, we also have a cord. I threw in some some different ones just because um, I didn't want them to get familiar with just the sewing terms, but I wanted to throw them off to, to figure out if they knew which ones was sewing terms and which ones were not. Okay, so they have some filibusters inside of this crossword puzzle. Um, soda, t-shirts, ribbon, ruler, socks, throat plate, pins, reverse stitch, power button, tension dial, heat press, sewing machine, seam ripper, fabric, cup, needle, mat, coffee, bobbin, scissors. So this will be the first project of the day and I'll let him get started on that so you just find the words inside the crossword puzzle and circle them as you go okay so that's the first activity and we'll just let him do that and Missy made it to Missy she made it to sewing class as well you guys I don't know, can y'all see Missy? Hey, Missy. She's ignoring us. Missy, hey, mama. Tell the people hi. Say hello. Say hello to the people. I guess she's not, she's not interested. Okay. So Ashton, how did you feel about the crossword puzzle? Um, it was kind of hard, but as I got more words, um, it started to get easier to find the words because they didn't have that many words left. Okay. And so based on the words that you found in the crossword puzzle, can you tell me what those words mean in your own words? It's okay if you don't know the exact meaning of the words. So what I would like for you to do is to say the word and then tell me what you think that word means. Um, a pen, a pen. It is a writing tool that you use to mark on paper and to write through it. Okay. Do we like use, I'm sorry, oh, I'm sorry. No, you do, do we use pens when we sew? Yes. What, what, what would we use a pen for? To mark it on the thread to where um, uh, mark the fabric. Okay, mark the fabric, okay. So we could use a pen, a pencil, chalk, or any type of um, marking tool for fabric. Right? Yes. Okay. What's the next word? Iron. What do we use the iron for? To straighten out the uh, the fab the straighten out the fabric. Okay. 
What's the next word? Um, um a chord. Chord? Um, a, um, a chord is like something on the sewing machine that you plug the sewing machine so it could. So it could work. So it can work? Okay. Uh, um, a ball, um, a ribbon is a um, is a type of string that you use. Um, it could even be like on baskets or or like to tie something. Um, um, a ruler is a measuring tool that you use um, to measure things. So in sewing, what are we measuring? The <laughs> yes, the fabric. So what type of pen would that be? How do you spell that pen? P-I-N-S. Pens. Pens. And we would call them stick pens. Yes, stick pens. Stick pens, okay. Um, um, reverse stitch is like a button on the sewing machine that you, I don't know if you click it like this way or you um, like press the button, but um, it's supposed to stitch it backwards into the fabric. Stitch what backwards? The uh, the, the uh, string of the thread. Yeah, the thread backwards into your fabric. Okay. Um, power of uh, the power button is something that you use to turn something on or off. Okay, but what are we turning on and off? The sewing machine. Okay. Uh, tension dial, I don't know what that is. The tension dial? Yeah, okay. tension dial. It's okay. Um, if you don't know what it is. Sewing machine is um, is the machine that you use to sew your clothes. Okay. Um, um, a, um, a steam ripper. Steam? Uh, yeah, steam ripper. Steam ripper. Uh, um, I think I answered this question earlier, but... I think you told me you didn't know what it was. Okay. Um, fabric. Fabric is. Fabric is like. Fabric is the stuff that you use on your clothes, like to to sew clothes. Okay. does the needle do in your words? Um, what do you think the needle does in your words? Like it hooks the fabric. No, it hook, yeah, it hooks the fabric onto the clothes. The needle hooks the fabric onto like the clothes? Like it puts it into 
Yeah, it puts the fabric into the clothes super fast because because if that's what's like that little step on thing is for so like it could go fast or like slow or like you know like that okay and and um, the, um, the mat is what you sit your fabric on um, um a bobbin is like Like at the bottom, it's supposed to go like at the bottom of the sewing machine. That's supposed to spit it out of the sewing machine. Yeah. Um, it's spitting out? <laughs> no, like it's coming out of the thing. My part is supposed to put it at the top. It's supposed to come out like this. I'm supposed to go at the bottom. It's supposed to come out like that. Yes. Um, um, and scissors are like a type of cutting tool that you can use to cut the extra fabric off that you don't need. Okay. Um, yeah, and that's what suits. So, what's today's date? June 5th, 2023. So, what did you learn in Unbiased Sewing Camp today? Um, what I learned is some new words that I can use during sewing. And like the words I don't know, I could use like a phone or a laptop or something like that to to search up the words and see what they mean so I can learn the new words. Okay. So with the words that you found in your puzzle, do you think that you will learn how to sew with those words, using those words? Will you better understand what you're doing when you start sewing? Yes, ma'am, because the words, because the words are the tools that I need, and I can, uh, and I can like go to like the store or like, buy them and search up the words so that I can find the the tools that I need to sew. Okay, absolutely. And so, can you just explain how your first day of sewing camp went? Well, it was exciting, and I learned new things, and I learned some new things that I didn't know, and um, and I can maybe use those, um, and I can use those words in the future of me sewing. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Day one is down and complete. Happy sewing. Hello and welcome to day two of Unbiased Sewing Camp for Kids. What's today's date? June 7th. No, yeah, June 7th, 2023. Okay. And Ashton is with us again today. Today is Wednesday. And Ashton has been learning... The definitions, focus, of the parts of a sewing machine. So we will go over to the sewing machine and Ashton is going to point out to us what he has learned today during this class. Okay, so the first thing we want to find is the spool pin on the sewing machine. Um, the spool pin is on the back of the machine, um, and it's right here. Okay. And what does the spool pin hold? Um, it holds the thread. Okay. Absolutely. So, the next thing we want to find is the bobbin winder spindle. The bobbin winder winder spindle spindle is here okay and what does the bobbin winder spindle do um it lets out the thread takes in the thread it takes in the thread from from back here okay um, and it goes through this uh it goes 
do like this loop and goes around here and goes in there. Okay. What is a pattern selector dial? Um, a pattern selector dial is this. And where are the patterns on this machine? They're here and here. And can you find the straight stitch pattern? Here. here. And what about the zigzag stitch pattern? Here. And what color is it? Red. Where is the hand wheel on the sewing machine? Here. And which way do we turn the hand wheel on the sewing machine? Towards you. Absolutely. Where is the stitch length dial? Here. And what does the stitch length dial do? Um, you can pick a number and that's how many, um, stitches it will put in the thread okay where is the reverse stitch lever uh, the reverse stitch lever is here and what does the reverse stitch lever do um it it puts the thread it, yeah it puts the thread in the fabric backwards not the fabric in the um in the um in the clothes or something that you're making so say that again because the reverse stitch lever the reverse stitch lever does it puts the thread in whatever you're making backwards okay because it's a lock stitch it's called a lock stitch right yes ma'am okay so, Ashton, where is the power switch button on this sewing machine? Um, it's on the side. Okay. And what does the power switch button do? Um, it turns the sewing machine on and off. Okay. Where is the thread tension dial on this sewing machine? Thread tension dial. Listen to the words, thread tension dial. Dial means what? Um, dial means... When you dial something, you look for the... Look for... When you dial somebody's number on the phone, what are you looking for? The numbers. Okay, so the red tension oh, this. dial. Absolutely. So, um, where is the thread tension take up lever? And what does that do? Um, what does the thread take up lever do? It picks up the needle and make these go back and forth. Okay. Up and down. Yeah, up and down. Okay. Where is the presser foot? The presser foot is... So it's the pressure foot on the Yes. Here. Is that the which one you point at? Here. Okay. Absolutely. So where is the bobbin cover? The bobbin cover is here. Okay. Where would it have been, I guess? Because you know we missing ours. <laughs> uh, it would have been here. Okay. You know we're missing ours. <laughs> okay. And the feed dogs. Where are the feed dogs on this sewing machine? The feed dogs are here. And what does the feed dogs do? It moves back and forth like this. It moves the fabric. Yeah, it moves the fabric. 
towards the back. Yeah, towards the back. So, so what does the feed dogs do? It feeds the fabric towards the back. Okay. And where is the needle? Needle is here. Okay. And where is the needle plate? Which one is it? Here. Yes. Okay. So, what did you learn in class today? I learned, I learned all the things that, that's on the sewing machine. So, can we consider those the parts of the sewing machine? Yes, ma'am, the parts of the sewing machine. And their function. And their function. Yes. So, how was class today? It was good. And... Did you learn something new that you did not learn on the first class? Yes, ma'am. And which was? Some of the parts, some of the parts on the sewing machine and how they work. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>